Hello, this is Dr. Farah Sultan with Vitology Wellness Center, and welcome to my webinar on stress, health, and hormones, and the true causes of belly fat. As you know, America today is in a state of health crisis, as well as a health care crisis. And the reason for this is that our health care is reactive rather than proactive. It is driven by big money and big pharma who would rather have you sick than well, because if you get well, what do they have to gain from it? So we are bombarded with ads on TV for pharmaceuticals, but we have to ask ourselves, are these really working and really helping us resolve our issues? So for example, when you have high blood pressure, how long do we uh, think we are supposed to stay on it? We can take our pill every day, and yes, it will drop our blood pressure, but it, does it really help us resolve the problem? So tonight, I am going to show you how you can resolve your issues by using the principles of functional medicine, whether it is weight loss that you're struggling with, or sometimes even putting on lean muscle mass and you continue to lose weight even though you're eating healthy because your nutrients are not getting absorbed or you can't sleep at night or you have brain fog and fatigue and lack of sex drive or hurting or migraines the list can go on and on and on so what I am going to show you today is a different way because in the words of Einstein, if we keep doing the same things over and over again, it's called insanity. So let's look at how we can take charge of our own health and help resolve our problems. So what is the normal paradigm of our current medical system? If you have a problem, you go to a doctor, and what do they do? They do some labs, which I agree with. I don't believe in doing guesswork, do the right testing, and then they write you a prescription. But what if we could take a step back and find out the root cause? So what is functional medicine? It is finding the root causes and using a more holistic approach to address it. So for example, if you had a potted plant that was wilting and dying, the first thing you would give it would be water or sunshine. But if you took some motor oil and put it into that soil, the plant would die. So even with our body, what it needs is the nutrients, make sure they're being absorbed, and make sure there's nothing interfering with its normal absorption. So that could be a hormonal imbalance, a toxin, or stress. So I do the testing to get to the bottom of why is this person having this issue and then we can do something about it. So when um, you go see a doctor, what is the first thing that they do? Uh, they, when they write you a prescription, how much time do you think you get to spend with them? Maximum 10 minutes or less than that. And during that time, you can't really resolve your problems. And even though America is number one nation in the world, when it comes to our health-related problems, we are number 47 out of the 83 developed nations. And do you think the rates of ADD and autism among our kids or ADD even among the young people or diabetes, hypertension, high cholesterol, heart disease, cancer, or Parkinson's and Alzheimer's in the elderly, they're on the rise. You would think they would resolve with all the billions of dollars we spend on research and technology, but unless we address lifestyle, a drug cannot resolve it. And don't get me wrong, America is the best place to be in if you have a crisis, so if you had a car accident or a heart attack and needed your chest cracked open or hip surgery, you would get the best care there is to be gotten and I'm very grateful for the system that we have, but I specialize in functional endocrinology, functional neurology, functional nutrition, and functional immunology, and by that, I, the Techniques that I use to help you are number one, food. Let food be thy medicine and let thy medicine be thy food, according to Hippocrates. 
We use nutraceuticals. These are organic, plant-based, non-GMO vitamins and supplements that restore the body's normal function. Once that's restored, you don't have to keep taking them for the rest of your life but not all nutraceuticals are created equal so you gotta pay attention to where your nutrients are coming from if they're made in china they may not have some of the ingredients they say they have and may have some harmful ingredients in them and then of course hormone balance so when i talk about hormones i imply bioidentical hormones which have been around for centuries but you don't hear about them because they are not touted by big pharma so these help restore the body's normal balance unlike the synthetic hormones like premarin which came from the pregnant mare's urine and we are not horses so our bodies react to it and some of these women who were placed on drugs like premarin developed um, breast cancer heart attacks dementia so the trial was stopped so when you balance hormones in men and women you got to do it right it has to be specific to that individual's needs it cannot be a one size fits all it has it is specifically compounded based on your lab results your symptoms as well as your body makeup and then of course exercise is important but not how hard you exercise but how smart you exercise so that's why it's so important to know what we are putting into our bodies also the stress in our lives that mind body balance whether you're sleeping well how stressed you are so all that plays a huge role as well according to the british medical journal 85 percent of all medical procedures and, and surgeries are scientifically unproven so we got to look at other options as well according to the world health organization 90% of all diseases prevalent today are not treatable with orthodox medical procedures. So when we talk about exercise, more is not better. If I can show you a way of exercising smarter rather than harder, where you can do three days of workout with days of rest in between 20 to 30 minutes a day and if you can build five pounds of lean muscle mass but lose 30 pounds of excess unwanted body fat and it gives you more energy lights up all your fat burning hormones isn't that something we would all be willing to make time to do especially if it gave us more energy and we did not have to count calories to do that so when I ask my patients, are you exercising? They say, oh yeah, I walk the dog every day. But sometimes it may be the dog that's getting more exercise than you are. And being proactive is important. So Jack LaLanne is one uh, such a mentor or hero of mine. And even in his 30s, he looked pretty ripped. But even in his 80s, because he had helped so many people, he, looks, he looked great and he had no regrets. So really, as we grow older, it's so important to maintain your health. And the only time it's too late is when you're in bed. And I truly believe we all were put on this earth to fulfill a purpose in life. But unless we have our own health, how can we fulfill that purpose? When you fly in a plane, they say first put the oxygen mask on yourself, then on your kid in case of an emergency. So if you take care of your own body, you can help others and fulfill your purpose in life. And I truly feel this is my purpose. If I can help even a few of you regain your youth, your health, your vitality, it gives me great joy and satisfaction that I've played a positive role in your life and having mentors is important so even though i mentor my clients i am mentored too i never say i'm perfect i'm always learning and these are some of my mentors and i have three kids who are my motivation my why and they depend on me 
So you all have beautiful people in your lives and you have to ask yourself, what is my why? Because you want to stick around. You want to be there for your loved ones, your kids, your grandkids. And that's what I firmly believe in as well. So what are the things that influence our health? Stress is a huge one. I'm sure none of you have any stress at all. So let's talk about stress and the different kinds of stress. So the first is the physical stress. <clears throat> you injure yourself, you go to the ER, you get it fixed. But a very important physical stress is brain injury, traumatic brain injury. It can create tremendous inflammation in your body. But the good news is your brain has something called neuroplasticity and it can be restored back to health through meditat meditative practice, through spirituality, through rest, through digestive processes occurring naturally and by balancing your hormones. And then you have chemical stress, which is out of the wazoo. It's the air you breathe, the chemicals that are in the soil, in the water, the food that you put into your mouth. And then of course, there's emotional stress. So we have enough uh, stress in our lives. We really don't need to be watching all that news in the world. So stress uh, can interfere with sleep. And if you are not sleeping through the night, that is not normal. And it is true that you lose weight during your sleep. So it is so important to sleep. So it is not a, a good excuse to say, oh, I'm just getting older so I don't sleep good. Because if your hormones are balanced, you will sleep through the night and wake up refreshed the next day. So let's talk about food because it is so important to our lives. And according to the dictionary definition, the purpose of food is to provide energy, promote growth and repair of tissues and sustain life. But do you think a donut fits that definition? It may give you a lot of energy, but it may not work that well to repair your tissues. And guess what cancer loves? It loves sugar, it loves acidity, loves stress, as well as low oxygen uh, when we smoke. But when we take away those conditions, we can restore uh, our own cells and win the battle against cancer. So let's uh, talk about hormones. There are 600 of them in our bodies and even small amounts play a huge role in our overall well-being. And so when they're out of balance, it can create tremendous problems. So one such important hormone that we're going to discuss today is your thyroid. Your thyroid gland is this butterfly-shaped gland located in your neck. And the majority of the hormone it produces is called thyroxin or T4. Now thyroxin it happens to be the inactive hormone. It has to be converted into T3, the active component, in order for your cells to utilize it. But that conversion doesn't occur in your neck, but in your gut and in your liver. So if your liver and gut are backed up, you will have all the symptoms of low thyroid, but the treatment would be to detoxify the liver and the gut and you would feel absolutely fine. Now, in this other situation, when you are under a lot of stress, stress can through a series of signals, it can transmit all the way from the brain through to your adrenal glands, to produce cortisol, your stress hormone, which can suppress your thyroid hormone as well as your sex hormones. So you get symptoms of feeling tired, feeling cold, gaining weight, not having energy, being constipated, having low sex drive, dry skin, infertility, hair loss, and even poor focus and depression. But the treatment would be to balance the cortisol and then your thyroid starts working normally. So it's so important to know what the underlying cause for the thyroid issue is, then you can help resolve it. And most doctors don't check your T3, let alone treat you with it, because that's the way we are taught. And the classification of hormones broadly can be done into fat burning and fat storing. 
your fat burning hormones are your anti-aging hormones like growth hormone which is measured by insulin like growth factor uh, glucagon adrenaline thyroid and testosterone in both men and women and the fat storing hormones like insulin estrogen and cortisol so what are the symptoms associated with um, uh, imbalance of hormones number one is feeling tired and sluggish hair loss and thinning as well as bowel difficulties weight gain mood swings hot flashes cold feet panic attacks pounding headaches muscle aches and pains and insomnia where you either can not get to sleep or can not stay asleep or wake up after so many hours of sleep feeling like the train just hit you and that's not normal too so here are the different body types associated with the different hormonal imbalances the first one is the estrogen dominant body type where they may have narrow waist but big hips or thighs because of too much estrogen which has to be balanced with progesterone and testosterone and then you have the adrenals where people have skinny arms legs no glutes all the weights in the belly area and no matter how hard they try to exercise they cannot lose it unless you balance your cortisol the thyroid body type is associated with dry skin, sluggishness, constipation, losing out a thirds of the eyebrows, gaining weight under the arms or all over, and you gotta balance the T3 levels. And then the liver or uh, the insulin resistant type, it, uh, it used to be called the beer belly, but nowadays it's more so from drugs rather than alcohol and also from insulin resistance which is high blood sugars which cause visceral body fat uh, which not only looks bad but is harder to get rid of but it can be done just through lifestyle changes uh, like diet and exercise so why is it that you go see your doctor and you're told oh there's nothing wrong it's all in your brain uh, come back next month or next week or in another year that's because your local lab comes up with normal values based on these bell-shaped curves so in this example of the TSH if you lie within this bell-shaped curve which is 0.3 to 5.7 you're normal and it has to be outside that range for you to be treated what we use is a much narrower range known as the functional range where your body is trying to tell you do something